Well, we're expecting very significant losses in the first quarter for PetroChina and Sinopec as a result of the low oil prices. Remember, onshore production in China is at the high end of the cost curve. We've got break-evens of $50, $60 a barrel for some of the older, more mature fields. And the problem that some of the Chinese producers have had is that uh, it's very difficult, given that these are state-owned enterprises, to cut costs as aggressively as private sector uh, companies. So they've been slow to react, slow to cut operating costs, costs, slow to cut capex. And as a result, result, you'll see very significant losses, I think, as they report 1Q numbers. Uh, And of course, 2Q is going to be even worse. I think the key question is, you know, how would they respond from here? Uh, One source of potential um, 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 benefit for these companies is that low oil prices will certainly help the downstream refining and petrochemical uh, businesses. Because remember, low prices means lower feedstock costs. As China gets back to work, we will see a recovery in some of the downstream margins uh, that will offset some of the upstream uh, uh, losses for those companies. But in the short term, uh, you know, I think the results are going to look pretty ugly. Yes, unfortunately. I mean, the bright spot you mentioned for the refiners globally, but it's not easy for the producers, is it? Can you give us your latest estimate on what is at stake for the shell producers as well in North America? Because we've heard some pretty horrific estimates in terms of bankruptcies there. Of course, there's this hope of stabilizing prices, but it's not what we're seeing. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we've got to see some rationalization in the sector. Um, There's just simply too much supply on the market, uh, and we're going to have to see more bankruptcies. Of course, bankruptcies don't automatically translate into lower production just because a company goes bankrupt. The wells remain there, the flow lines remain there, so it doesn't immediately translate into lower production. But what it will do is certainly take out some of the investment plans uh, that those companies had, and over time, you know, will lead to lower production. But in the short term, you know, we think we need to see a lot more bankruptcies in the industry. I think the interesting point will come when some of the majors start to consolidate or we start to see some M&A in the sector as the bigger companies start to, you know, really start to consolidate the, the, uh, the, the, the smaller players, which could over time, you know, bring greater discipline, capital discipline to the sector. But in the short term, you know, you're right that we're going to see a lot more bankruptcies in, in, the, in the sector in the U.S.